Parthenium is a highly invasive weed that's currently threatening, especially northern Tanzania. This weed was um, originally began in northern Ethiopia and it's spread down through Kenya and now um, is, has extended from the Arusha area through Kilimanjaro and is very prevalent um, in this northern part of Tanzania. Parthenium um, is dangerous for several reasons, primarily because it releases toxins into the soil and it releases poisonous pollen into the air. And these toxins in the soil prevent other plants from growing, um, including crops like maize and beans, which reduces the production of these crops um, and can even completely wipe them out, reducing yields from 40 to 97 percent, which is a pretty serious loss for local farmers. Furthermore, this, this toxic pollen can be damaging to the health of people who breathe it in. So humans can suffer from issues like asthma and bronchitis just from being near the Parthenium. Lakini hawakugundua kwamba likuwa ni majani. Hali niambia wewe mwenyewe nenda kukangalia kwamba ni nini. Kwa sababu si tumebima tumeona ni alleg. Lakini sasa hatujajua ni alleg ya nini. Bali waliona ni alleg. Kaniambia wenyewe nenda kukangalia kapime wanavyakula unavyokula. Leo unakula hiki unasikilizia. Kesho unakula hiki unasikilizia. Na wali niuliza pia nao, unafanya kazi gani? Kumambia mi ni mfugaji na mkulima. Kanambia ukienda shambani, unapima leo majani. Unapita sehemu nye majani ya inafulani. Ya inambili tatu hili shambani naangalia. Ukiona siku hiu ujawasho, ukipita sehemu nyingine. Utakuja gundua ndani ya shamba kuna jani fulani ambalo halipatani na mwili wako. Sasa kweli ukufatana na hile maelekezo ya daktari, nikaja kuona kwa mba haya majani. Kila sehemu nikipita nikikuta. Nikikata majani maeneo ambayo ya kwa ya majani na washo. Kwa hiyo pale pale hata nyumbani ameota kuli kwenye shamba langu nyumbani. Lakini nikiona ameota si subutu tena kupita kwenye hale maeneo. Nabidi labda kama ni majani ambayo watoto ni saidieni kukata. Mwagupa kukata kwa sabu nikikata atu. Mawashu. Pia sana sana mimi nilikuwa nikienda shambani kukata majani. Nimikono tundu likuwa nasikia vichumi. Lakini kwa kuwashwa sijawe kuwashwa. Ila nikiashika hale majani kuyangua do nasikia vichumi kwenye mikono. Ila pale wakati nilipo kwa nasikia hile hali nikajua kwa mba hile jani do likuwa inashida. Nikawa nachukua tu maliboro ndo nashika mikononi kwa kutumia kumuwa hile majani. Hizi maliboro nye usi. Do likuwa inanisaidia. Kwa hiyo kwanze hiyo kipindi sijashika tena na mkono. Nikienda shambani nakata na panga na laza chini. Na wambia tu kwa mba wanapoenda majani wavai globsi na pia wakikutana na hile majani wakate lakini wasishike mikono ikuwa bila globsi. Um, animals that eat this parthenium, um, especially cows, have been known to develop mouth sores um, that prevent them from eating well and their milk and meat can be tainted, reducing their market value. I was afraid because I was afraid of the place, I was afraid of the place, I was afraid of the place, and I was afraid of the place. I was afraid of the place, and I was afraid of the place. I was afraid of the place, and I was afraid of the place, and I was afraid of the place, but I was afraid of the place. And if the, the animals eat too much, they may even die, um, which is a serious loss, once again, for pastoralists. So this is a very serious issue. 